Hi, this is Doug Frankish with a Camtasia tutorial on how to access the back channel feature through Edmodo. To set the feature up, up here at the top, you're just going to add in or begin typing the word back channel and you'll see that it comes up in a list immediately. After clicking on that section, there's a link that will take you further in to locate the feature. There is a purchasing ability for you, but for today we're going to try the free access and I feel like the free access has enough features for you to do um, six, or hold successful back chat groups um, with elementary students. After filling in an email address, you're going to type in the name that you want students to see and then the name of the room that you're going to be using. So today we just said Edmodo. <clears throat> and you'll click start. Once you've done that, it's going to bring you to this page with a couple of different directions. Um, what I've done in the past in order to get this out to your students is just highlight the, the link and then to Command C to copy this. And then you can head right back to your Edmodo page and create a post. And I try to teach my students to use these features when they can. So I'm going to attach a link and then ask them to join the group. Once you've done this, your students will then have the link sent to them. You'll then want to oops, head back to the back channel. And once we're here, if you just refresh your screen, you'll see that over here on the online users that a couple of students have joined us. So now what I can do is whatever I'm going to type in here, I can begin this conversation. And when I begin the conversation, then the students will also have the chance to respond or to create their own questions. So if I ask them what, if I send this out to them, they can then respond. And their responses are going to show up in real time as they're typing after they press enter. One feature that I do like about this, which could hold some accountability for reading other posts, is that you've got the option to like certain posts. So if they read something and they may agree with it, then they can just click that like button instead of rewriting the exact same thing that someone else wrote. Another feature that I enjoy from this is the lock feature right here. So I can lock the discussion, and when I do that, the students lose their text box down here. It's removed from their screen and therefore they won't be able to add any more content to this conversation at this time even though I technically still can. So that would provide me time to pose a question or for me to maybe put some reminders out there if the conversation isn't moving in an appropriate direction or to just have students focus on the task that's going on. So a nice little added feature here. Another nice thing to uh, the Edmodo back channel allows you to have is the downloaded transcript and while you have to pay to get the downloaded PDF you can get the web transcript for free um, through a through the link so this is a, a nice feature that at least you know that you'll be able to access that conversation at a later time uh, another feature that I also enjoy through this is if you head back to the beginning page <clears throat> um, for back channeling and you were to create another group, you can actually, it actually holds on to your old conversations. So if I make this as appear as though I want to begin another one, but you can see that the, I had already created one that's called test. And so if I open that back up, the previous conversation is going to appear with all of the likes and all of the comments that were made. So if you want to continue a conversation on another day, then it's nice to have the history of that conversation there as well. I hope you find this tutorial, tutorial helpful and that you enjoy the free Edmodo back channel chat feature. Good luck.